Okay, so here we are picking up from where we left off last time. Um, basically, where we're at now is um, tried to put that hardboard in, and uh, basically it just snapped. Um, it just didn't want to wrap around really well. So luckily, I had some um, scrap laminate laying around from making a router table a couple years back, and I'm um, using that instead. And actually, to be honest, I think it's a better thing to use anyways than the hardboard because it's definitely more pliable and easy to put on and you don't got to deal with a ton of clamps to do it I did clamp it up a little bit but uh, it pretty much is just rolls right on and sticks if you follow the directions uh, the piece of laminate I had isn't long enough to go all the way around so I am using a couple pieces and uh, right here I kinda had a oops moment moment um, the edge was not square so I only found that out after I put it in and it glued together it was off a little bit so I just took a little bit of MDF dust and some glue mixed together and kind of put it in there with my fingers. I'll come back when it's dry and sand it nice and flat and that way as the air is going around here there's nothing to hang it up. Um, over here on the edge I've waited to do this piece last. Um, I just got that end clamped down just to make sure it's super tight on the laminate um, but I will be doing this once everything else is set up and dry. The reason for that is I wanted to get this piece in right here because this little edge that we made right here so that our board could go in there and fit all nicely together and create a nice joint uh, that way we have lots of strength uh, without this board being in place that's going to hold our inlet tube uh, I found that just uh, putting a little bit too much pressure than I liked on there so uh, we'll just do it this way first not a big deal um, I also went ahead and marked it here a rough thing uh, by putting on the inlet port to get our six inch diameter uh, the reason I did that was because I put some screws in the side right here. This, these are temporary. I'll remove them later. I just wanted the glue to grab everything and hold it tight because there's no real good way to get a clamp on there because of the roundness of the form. Uh, that's the best I could do. So uh, here we go. And also another thing that I didn't show you yesterday is just be careful when you're gluing this stuff up. It doesn't matter so much here, but as you can see um, over here, it gets really tight on the edge here. This is what sits on the lid. So when I had the form getting clamped to this last night uh, we, we uh, had to make sure that we're not going to put the clamp on there and crank it down too tight it doesn't need a lot of strength we just need to get that glue to set in so no problems at all just uh, wanted to hit that up because I forgot to tell you about that before and uh, that's basically it so once this sets up about an hour from now I'm going to go ahead and finish skinning the interior then uh, we're going to make the uh, template to uh, cut out the holes for the inlet and the top and uh, we'll go from there. All right. And there was one more thing I wanted to add uh, because we weren't able to use the hardboard. Our entire layout. Remember originally by having the second line here and setting up along the this arc here was so that we knew exactly where the center was of our can or or the inside of our garbage can or container, or whatever we're going to be using to build this. And um, that line no longer is a reference line. This still is where the inside of the can is, but as you can see with the laminate on, it doesn't quite meet up to that line. It's not going to be a big deal, I don't think. Uh, I can't really say because I haven't built it before, but um, you know we're going to continue. When we cut out that hole in the bottom, we're just going to do as planned, and uh, there will be a little bit more of a ledge there. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is just putting some wax on here to make this nice and smooth because we're going to have this really nice smooth laminate going on here. and. Um, I don't think there's going to be any bit of a problem. We're going to definitely have enough CFM pulling this stuff around here. So uh, that was one design issue that didn't work out because of this. Um, so I am happier that we're going with the laminate, but I don't know if that's going to affect anything. So I just want to throw that out there.